Hello and welcome to Raggy's Craft Beer Review from Raggy's Tap Room, as you can see just there. The home of beer reviews, in my head anyway, at least. So this is from Wellback Abbey Brewery, one of three Christmas beers this year. Santa Baby being the other one and uh, Christmas Noel. Might be wrong on that one. Santa Baby's definitely one of them. I have reviewed the other two before, mind you, on this channel. Um... So this is White Stag, an American Hot Session IPA, 4.3%, so second Christmas beer for me. I do want to try and get a few Christmassy beers in on the run up to Christmas. Um, yeah, so Welbeck Abbey, based at the famous Welbeck Abbey Estate, um, head brewer Claire. It's remembering these things and getting it right. Um, met the good lady herself over at the Winchester pub in Sherwood. Fantastic pub that has got three lines of cask um, Warbeck Abbey beers. So if you, so in in essence, in essence, it's like a a little Warbeck Abbey brewery ta um, tap bar um, in the Nottingham area. So as we can see, uh, in this light, bearing in mind, what you can see there sometimes don't look the same there. It looks, it looks gold on there. It looks more straw coloured on this side. So just just to show you, you know, light is a thing. If it was in daylight outside, it'd be better, but hey ho. So ever such a slight haze on the pour. Uh, they are would be bottle conditioned bears these days. Uh, they bought their own bottling plant and their green um, ethos must be flying because uh, instead of sending the beers away to be bottled, it's bottled on site, less transport on the road. It's all good. And it gives somebody a nice job bottling, mind you. So, yeah, good little car carbonation on there. A centimetre of dissipating white head. Now, does it say anything on the bottle? Did I miss anything? So, distinguished brews inspired by the tales from the Welbeck Abbey estate. Oh no, no it doesn't. So yeah, the ABV is 4.3%. Cheers all. Got a bit of citrus on the nose. Right. dry actually there's a nice dryness to it i thought i got pine and obviously sometimes you know it depends on what you've had before and i've got some lovely um red what red wine pork sausages that i got from the christmas fair last weekend at the nec so looking forward to having them tonight before they go out of date tomorrow so i need to eat them six pound for six so not the cheapest sausages but uh, you're doing your bit to help people Ooh, got a good twang to it, really quite punchy, twangy. Um, so yeah, Adventure Beer, local to me, is a great, if you live in the East Midlands, this that is a great resource to get yourself some of these Welbeck Abbey beers. You can also go to the website themselves, welbeckabbeybrewery.com. And check out, they have got a stunning amount of different beers in bottles at the moment. It's really exciting to see. It'd be interesting to see uh, in the long run whether they go down some of the bigger beer route, like a Christmassy Imperial Stout beer. But I suppose uh, <clears throat> with any brewery, you know, you've got to sell the beer because that's what pays the wages, keeps everyone in the job. So... The lower ABVs, pale ales and that sort of thing is what brings the cash in, the biggest sellers. Very flavourful. Um, twang around the mouth, still, still a little bit drying. And it's going down well, you know. 
Ooh, as I say, always looking to see what, what new beers Coco Noel. Santa Baby, Coco Noel. Sure, that's the beer. I could look on my phone and cheat, but why? I, you know, I'm not going to do that. Yes, and I have reviewed both of those in the past. Whether I review both before Christmas all depends on the, the run up to Christmas uh, um, beer reviews. I mean, I've got lots of beers, you know, that, that you can see behind me. The beer wall is, is going down at a good rate, though. I have um, been chucking out the beer reviews of late, to be fair. Trying to get trying to get the odd local beer in and uh, the odd lager and cider and then obviously craft beers and trad beers. Um, this, you would consider this as a traditional beer, um, even though uh, some companies call themselves craft beers. It's, it's funny, really. I mean, we all have our own versions of you know, what a beer is. And, uh, um, I mean, St. Peter's call themselves a craft brewery, um, but I consider them a trad brewery. So it's, it's funny, isn't it? You know, it's, it's all a word, isn't it? But uh, I consider them these more traditional, modern traditional. Ooh. So, really flavourful. Um, loving the punchy twang to it. A little bit of subtle, subtle tropical and citrus flavours in there. I'm bound not to get it all. I remember over at um, the Winchester, because uh, Danielle from the Evening Post, she was there as well. And obviously I wasn't in review mode that night, I was in drink mode. Um, <clears throat> have a few beers, was out with the wife. And I just wanted to go to see the um, uh, Meet the Brewer event. So it was, a, it was a good event, yeah. And the Winchester is a fantastic addition to my local pubs in Sherwood and Nottingham. If you ever get the chance to go to it, if you live in Nottingham and you've not been, um, it's a stunning little place. And Sherwood is, is booking the trend uh, for eateries uh, and also for good drinking places, you know. Um, Winchester is certainly at the t probably at the top of that list with Craftworks uh, very high up as well. I mean, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of pubs that you probably wouldn't want to go in, but uh, <clears throat> but there are some great pubs nonetheless. So, um, very enjoyable beer. Love Christmas beers. I love Christmas. Uh, hopefully the running's Christmas will be a bit, a little bit better than the last week's been. But hey, -oh, you know, such is life. Curveballs. Yeah, we don't want curveballs. We want an easy life. Yes. And, uh, hey ho. So white stag. Yep. Yeah, very sessionable. Very easy drinking. American hopped. American hopped would most likely mean citrusy and tropical, which uh, that's what I got. There's probably things that I, I didn't get. I thought I also got a bit of pine in there as well, to be fair. Uh, for me, a good 4.4 .4 out of five. Yeah, very nice beer. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. Cheers all.